it is Arts here, welcome to a new video, and today we have a little bit of a different video. This video is going to be for those of you who are new, that way if you guys ever are interested in how to make money when starting off, I could just refer you to this video. But yeah, let's get straight into it guys, I'm going to show you guys how you make an account, basically you just simply log in, it's really simple, go to no thanks, and then boom, you have your account made. And what I'd suggest to do first, like every other player would, is simply thieve. I don't know like exactly how much you make from 99 thieving, but you'd make a lot of money to be able to get your basic gear like a whip, you know, the dragon boots, all that good stuff that you'll need for Slayer if you plan on rushing Slayer. Alright, so basically got a first inventory. Let's just see how much we've actually made. Uh, I need space. Okay, let's just drop. If you don't know, there's actually shift click dropping, which is really, really nice. Let's pick up the other silks. If you guys don't know, thieving is the most basic and easy way to make money. And if you guys didn't know as well, I mean, look at that, 160k just from one inventory that took literally less than a minute, which is pretty OP, and that's just like these two starter stalls. Once you get to the Skimitar star, or stall, you'll, act, you'll honestly make a lot more. Also, if you guys don't know, if you guys have $10 to spare, you could simply hit colon colon donate, and if you get the donator scroll, you could claim it and then buy items from the donator uh, store, obviously, you get a lot of money that way. But the main point of this video is to show you money makers, so I'm going to show you guys what you can do if you become a donator. Okay, so basically you became a donator, right? Let's just say you are. We'll go to D zone, you have a $10 rank, that's all you need. Very, very OP for starting off the game. Like, look at that. Just simply getting 64k each thing. There's also sometimes these things, which is kind of annoying, but... What's the fifth letter in the word Pokemon? I, I believe that would be an M. And then you just continue thieving, and it's extremely OP. I believe you get 50 to 100k each thief, which is really nice. So if you do have $10 to spare, why not? Alright guys, so I have a, a nice money maker that's kind of fun, and it relies on a, a lot of RNG. So for those of you who want to take a risk, and you've thieved enough cash to buy some gear, obviously you don't need this gear, I'm just going to use this to speed up like the process and show you guys a little faster. But you can take welfare gear and go there, you don't need the trident, you just need the runes to use the fire wave, as well as bruise and overload. At least three super stores, because you're going to have the prayer renewal flask, so when you don't really need it that much. But we're going to go do glaciers if you haven't guessed it already. Glaciers are really fun, and it, it's all down to RNG again, like I said. So you got to get lucky and try and get a like boot drop, so... We can go try it out. Also, if you guys ever get enough money for a Ring of Wealth and you can get it, I suggest to do so because it can have a chance of doubling your drop. Simply head over to your boss's teleports, which are down here. Go to Glaciers. And we're going to auto cast Fire Wave. Somebody's already here. That's dope. I'm going to throw this on. And we're going to attack it. I think we should probably use one of these. And I'm assuming this would be nice as well. Alright, we're going to overload. The only thing that sucks is you kind of have to left or right click in order to attack it. But yeah, it's alright. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, we're about to die. Alright, let's just eat up because we were really low health. Alright. We should be good. And then we're going to sip this. Look, that's the great thing about the overload, guys, is when you sip it and you start chugging brews, you don't really need to keep, like, you don't need to keep restoring, which is always really nice. Anyways, as you can see, that was a really fast kill. It's extremely fast kills if you guys have your fire wave. They do hit quite a bit, but it is worth it because there's that chance of getting 100 mil to, what, 150 mil, I think, nowadays? Which is pretty insane. And then you have the chance of the Ring of Wealth doubling it, which would be pretty crazy. But look at that, hitting 1000s in my gear. I mean, obviously, you're not going to hit that with my gear, or your, with regular gear. But you did hit really consistently with this uh, fire wave, so... Yeah, I'll be back when we do a few kills. Obviously, I wasn't prepared for this. Having a, what is it, a Wapple Tinger would be nice for the extra mage bonus, as well as having a Steel Tie in one of the two. Either or would make the kills a lot faster, but we're just going to stop here. And before we do get a pair of boots on video, that'd be pretty crazy. And yeah, I mean, not very good loot, but then again, I said it's all down to RNG, but we're going to go straight into the next Moneymaker. Alright guys, so simply another money maker is, you honestly don't need the best of gear, but you need Ice Barrage. And you can simply come and talk to the strange old man at Barrows, and you could say you're always up to a challenge. If you don't know what this is, I think it's called Rise of the Six, something like that. And you basically kill all the Barrows brothers at once, and we're going to go do it for you guys. We're going to give you a little 
idea. I think you pray mage because that's like what they use the most. Or melee. Because there's three meleers, right? So. And we're gonna overload up. No, we can't. We're, already, we're still overloaded. That's fine. And then we're gonna kill all six and you basically get a guaranteed loot, which is really nice because Barrow's pieces are pretty expensive. Especially like the Aram's top, the Aram's row bottom, um, all the derelict pieces. So if you get one of those, you're, you're making bank. Alright, so as you can see, got a little nice animation, kind of cool, and it spawns all the brothers in. I think this would be better if I brought a divine, but we're going to give it a shot either way. We're in basically max, so I mean, I don't think we'll have any tr troubles, but yeah, you could do this again in welfare, just I want to do this to make it faster, so I'm not recording for two hours, you know. I guess that would probably be better for you guys, but it's alright. So I think we got to kill, um, where is it? Where's Carol's? Am I blind? Oh, here's Carol's. We gotta kill Carol's first. Oh my god, we're gonna die. We are going to die. Alright, so we have the other one safe spotted for the most part. This is tough. What the heck? What did I sign up for? Alright. Why am I... Oh, I'm... my overload ran out. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna run around and get our stuff back up. We're just gonna overload now. Okay, so when I died, I wasn't really worried that I was going to lose anything, you know, I mean, I thought you'd keep your items just like you did for anything else. I mean, there's no warning before entering, there's no warning anywhere saying that you'll lose your items if you die in this. And I lost my items, apparently it's bugged, and you're not supposed to, so I'd be careful if I were you guys for now, uh, at least until they fix it. Hopefully I'll get a refund if I don't, that's kind of fucked up, but we're just going to go, str we're just going to move on and go show you guys some other shit. Okay, so basically at this point, I mean, I failed the video, I'm not getting my shit back, I mean, I died, and I guess you, you've you always been losing your items in there, and the service port was a lot wrong, so I don't know. I mean, he's not even replying at this point, but you get zero warnings when you want to talk about entering the thing, so how was I supposed to know that you lose items? I don't think anyone does, because if you go for I'm always up for a challenge, we're going to look at the options, guys. Can you explain how this works? In this challenge, you and your clan will battle my masters, the Six. What happens when I defeat the Six? In case you defeat the Six, your team will be rewarded with Barrow's equipment. What happens if I die? Here's the here's the big question. When you die, I will teleport to me, or but I can't save you. Like what does that even mean? I will teleport you to me. I didn't even get teleported in the first place, so and it says nothing about losing your items. So I mean, I kind of just got GG, eco clean boys kind of retarded by I me mean, yeah that's that's one way to fail a video so all right well i'm really demotivated or, yeah i can't even speak demotivated to make this video in the first place so we're just going to show off one more thing and then we're going to end it there because that's kind of annoying you know just losing seven build to something that uh, like it doesn't give you a single warning if i would have known i would have just brought a divine and like you know just armadillo or something like just cheap gear but oh well it kind of sucks Anyways, what you want to do is you want to simply gear up in the best range gear you can with a dragon fire shield or an anti dragon fire shield. And you want to go to the Slayer, Slayer teleports and go to Frost Dragons and then go to Frost Dragon Ice Path. There's the ones in the wilderness, but obviously we're in good gear. We don't want to risk it that or risk anything. But we do have 100 Dungeoneering. If you have 100 Dungeoneering, you could use this cave entrance. Otherwise, there's only one Frost Dragon available, which somebody is always doing. As you can see, somebody's in really plug gear. I believe you, I guess you could range it, or melee it as well, but I prefer the range it, I don't know. I mean, it's all down to preference, I guess. But, as you see in here, there's a lot of frost dragons. It's really nice. And you just simply attack it and kill it. And then, yep. It's easy money. Simply kill it, pick up its bones, and then go sell it. Obviously, you want to get more than just one, but... We're going to go see how much they're actually worth. I'm not exactly sure, I'm assuming they're still around 500k each. Hopefully they are, otherwise, you know, I mean, probably wouldn't be worth it. I mean, for new players, obviously it will be. Let's see, Frost Dragon, let's see. Frost Dragon. 
and oh, whoa, okay, and they're they're actually almost a mil each now. Damn, that's insane. Simply throw that in the POS, 800k, and boom, you're, you're making the bonkers. But anyways, I'm gonna end it there just because like I I just really don't want to make this video. But yeah, we're gonna go do the outro with the giveaway. Alright guys, we're gonna pick the two winners for the last giveaway. And yeah, good luck. Steak all day. Didn't this guy win like just a few videos ago? Could have sworn this guy's already won. Like what the heck? I swear to god this guy's won before, dude. I don't know. Next up, your boy Jerry. This guy comments on like literally every giveaway, so congrats! And if you guys would like to enter the new giveaway, simply for two winners for $10, scroll again. All you gotta do is leave your in-game name down below in the comments. Like this video, obviously, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can actually, you know, see if you won. So yeah, I mean, thanks everyone for 2k subs again. I mean, I've never, I don't think I've said that yet, actually. So thank you for those of you who subscribed. Pretty awesome. Come check out Elkoi. Just don't do Rise of the Six Barrows. It's a trap. There's actually 403 players online. It's that's pretty lit. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much becoming the biggest server out right now. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.